हेलो एंड अस्सलाम वालेकुम सो वेलकम बैक दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर 11 फ्रॉम बेसिकली कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ लेक्चर नंबर 11 एंड इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ द लेक्चर आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट बेसिकली आई विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग विद द लो एफिशिएंसीज दैट आर रिलेटेड टू रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी सोर्सेज so uh, let me first discuss uh, about the efficiencies of fossil fuels and as compared to renewable energy the uh, efficiency rates of the fossil uh, fossil fuel based power plants is relatively higher as compared to the renewable uh, energy uh, resources power plant for example the coal power plants have been reported to efficiency of uh, as high as uh, 37% although it is uh, much higher if we uh negate the heat losses that uh, contribute indirectly uh, in the uh, process uh, so uh, it is uh, reported that 50 to 60% uh, efficiency rate for oil plants and 32 to 38% for uh, uh, gas uh, turbine plants uh, without uh, the uh, combined combined cycle uh, 50 to 60% for Uh, the combined cycle the efficiency uh, rates uh, significantly improved with the use of uh, combined cycle in uh, power plants uh, coal power plants and also in uh, oil and gas uh, turbine plants on the other hand uh, the uh, efficiencies of uh, the uh, uh, renewable uh, energy sources Uh, that basically are used to generate uh, electricity are significantly uh, lower for example uh, it is uh, reported that for photovoltaic systems uh, that uh, basically are using sunlight to uh, form electricity using photo photovoltaic effect, effect it is reported that the uh, uh, efficiency is about 15 to uh, 20% and also there are uh, other factors that contribute to its lower efficiency rates like uh, uh, the uh, intensity changing intensity of uh, solar light uh, throughout the day sunlight varies throughout the day and also it varies through seasons and for the case of wind it is estimated that the uh, rate of efficiency is what to 50% on wind turbine when it is used to generate electricity so highest uh, energy efficiency of uh, 21% is for uh, geothermal uh, power that is uh, reported at uh, darajat vapor dominated system that is uh, which is basically located in Uh, indonesia uh, and the highest reported efficiency is by hydroelectric power that is uh, basically 95% for the largest stations and 80 to 85% for the stations which are relatively smaller in size so conclusions to so low efficiency hydroelectric power plants uh, are considered the best uh, efficiencies uh, among the all energy resources the harmful effects that are associated with the construction of dams which are basically used in uh, hydroelectric uh, power generation uh, are the harmful effects of uh, the ecosystem when large plants uh, also uh, the uh, water level varies through, throughout the year as season changes in rainy season for instance uh, the dams are overfilled and in the dry season the water le level is significantly reduced also in dry season like in summer when the water level is significantly reduced the uh, uh, demand for electricity is also increased uh, which basically causes uh, the dams to temporarily shut down their 
uh, water supply for the production of electricity and this is the major cause of uh, uh, load shedding in uh, most of the parts of uh, our country. Uh, the next one is the wind uh, plants uh, with green electricity production nearly as effective as the combined cycle uh, plants and oil plants. The wind plants are more effect, uh, efficient as compared to uh, coal, uh, coal plants. It is basically uh, difficult to uh, replace because of huge share of coal based uh, power generation that is being used to generate electricity and the sec uh, secondly viable option for uh, option if it gradually it takes over for um, over a period of time from coal plants non combined gas cycle turbine plants uh, must be discontinued in favor of wind plants and in windy areas uh, efficiency is lower than wind power plants in case of non combined uh, cycle gas turbine uh, plant uh, the efficiency uh, will is uh, reduced as compared to uh, wind power plant in uh, windy areas so it, uh, it is uh, viable for them to replace the, uh, the those coal based uh, st uh, structures for generation of electricity and uh, replace with uh, wind uh, power uh, generation uh, systems. The next one is the higher uh, capital uh, requirements uh, the, as the new uh, newer uh, technologies are emerging they are less developed technologies with uh, relatively lower efficiency rates and uh, require higher uh, capital more than that required for the fossil fuel uh, based power plants fossil fuel, fuel based uh, plants can produce power on demand because they are uh, or, um, because the uh, they are uh, relatively mature as compared to the newer uh, less developed technologies renewable however uh, required uh, additional costs of uh, let's say uh, uh, batteries for example in case of uh, uh, solar power plants or wind power plants and other storage schemes to uh, supply uh, power on demand so in case of the renewable energy, energy sources like uh, wind and solar uh, if we are not uh, using the uh, storage elements like batteries and other things mm, the renewable energy might not be uh, so, uh, able to provide electricity uh, on the uh, run time for instance if we require uh, energy at uh, night times and we have uh, solar power and we do not have a battery uh, to harness or store its power so basically it won't be able to supply electricity in night hours so the solution to the problem is uh, government should apply a special tax code for uh, renewable uh, uh, energy and um, may consist uh, a of, uh, of series of incentives and subsidies per kilowatt of electricity that are being produced for uh, uh, renewable uh, from uh, renewable uh, energy sources the peak demand for fossil fuels is uh, soon approaching it is approximated that it is uh, we are on the top of our uh, demand chain uh, although the affordable price of coal and gas are expected to continue for the immediate future there is a very real shift occurring in the uh, global energy market fossil fuels currently power uh, approximately 63 percent of the electricity demand of this world but new energy uh, trends indicate that due to the demand for cleaner and greener energy uh, requirement uh, energy uh, energies uh, 
requirement and increase in affordability of the renewable energy technologies uh, it is estimated that uh, by 2040 38% of uh, the electricity demand in United States will be fulfilled by uh, the renewable energy sources which will include uh, the use of solar power wind power and the ocean and tidal energy while the peak demand for the fossil fuel of uh, electricity is nearing peak supply is not as it is as uh, the fossil fuels are finite resources but due to extensive uh, uh, shale deposits that are being uh, discovered in the continental united states natural gas reservoirs could last the united states for about uh, next century or so and the coal reservoirs uh, uh, could last over uh, 300 years so with uh, number like uh, number like these in um, practice uh, it is clear that the use of fossil fuels is not over yet and we will continue to use use it for many decades fossil fuels may do dominate the energy markets today but the future of energy is renewable renewable energy sources will be used in future by participating in new uh, renewable energy incentive programs uh, and conserving uh, of electric uh, conserving electricity and reducing the uh, use of fossil fuels the <coughs> fuel uh, and reducing the fuel products like uh, plastics and gasoline uh, we can help to make the future that is related to fossil fuel the cleaner future can be brought sooner thank you and allah hafiz